So one of the things that we use in Java is something known as a string. And if we take a look at those videos that we were just watching, you might notice that a string is really just kind of a collection of char data types, of char data types. It's a, just a bunch of those together, data types. So how do we start to look at them? How do we start to represent all of this, this collection? Well, you might notice that I've kind of broken down this word, you know, hello world, this sentence. And then underneath it, you see I have these numbers. Well, these numbers right here, these are known as my index. If I need to represent or if I need to have access to any one particular letter, I go to its index. So let's say, for example, this is known as str. str equals hello world. Put my little quotes on the end there to make it official, semicolon. So what if I want to represent, I want to get you know, the, the w. Well, what I can do is I can say str.char at seven. And what that does is it looks at this seven and it goes, all right, well, what is the value at that index? This is then going to spit out a char data type w. Now something I wanted to take note of, if you notice right to the left of it, there's this kind of blank spot. Well, one thing about chars is just like we were kind of talking about when we thought about escape characters, uh, a space is actually you know, a valid character. So if I were to say str.char at 6, guess what? I'm actually going to get not a blank, I'm actually going to get something. There's an empty thing. It's empty. It's a, it's a character that we're getting back when we look at that. So we have all these different things. Now one of the other things that we can do with a string is we can actually create something known as a substring. A substring. And what this is is we now are going to look at the string that we have and we're actually going to chop it up. So say for example I, I, I want the, the hello, but I don't really care about the world. Yeah. Uh, let me rephrase that. I, I want the hello, but I don't care about the portion of my string that says world. Now I'm going to get angry emails from hippies. So I don't want that, that world at all. I don't want that. I want the hello. So what I can do is, again, I can write out something like str and as you can kind of guess, if I can use these methods that are pre-built, I can design something like substring. Now substring takes two parameters. It takes a beginning and it takes an ending. So my beginning mall, I want to start at the beginning, I want to start here at H, so I'm going to say my beginning is going to be zero. Now what about my ending? Now my ending actually is going to, it's going to run up until that number. So if I said hello, I don't want to say four. I do not want to say four because that's actually going to get cut off. I want to go one more than that. So I want to actually say five. So That'll give me the character at zero, the character at one, two, three, four, but not including five. So if I were to do a system.out.println, what I would get is hello. So let's put this into practice, just like always. I build my string equals hello world 
and I want to just build that substring. I just want to take it and make it. So I'm going to, I'll just call this sub str dot sub string zero comma five system dot out dot print ln sub we compile this up we run this give me just a second there we are java c test dot java we don't see any compiling errors excellent java test hello now like I said, if I extend that out, if I go to uh, six, because I don't know, maybe I want to say, hello, I'm actually going to extend it out to a seven. The reason why is to include that blank space that I'm just looking at. Hello plus Adam. Compile it up. Java it up, look what happens. I've taken now a substring and then through something called string concatenation, string concatenation, I can take the word hello, comma, with a space and then add whatever I want afterwards. Pretty sweet.